What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. We're in the workshop today, we're looking at these updated Chameleon's Blades Dual Blade set since the title update has been released. So I figured I'd show y'all what I've been running with just my Dual Blades in general. So just take a quick look. We got Chameleon's Blades. Um, did not get any augmentation status on either Chameleon's Blades or Espina's heel. So I just unlocked them and then more to come on those materials. So. We went ahead and stuck with the status trigger, foray, and chain crit. Those are going to be the key skills for this set. And then we will break down as far as Camellia Soul. Each hit has a small chance to boost health, stamina, attack, or defense. That's damn good with dual blades because it triggers more easily subsequent times. So this with chain crit, death going to get you that boost that you're looking for. And when we look at our breakdown of the skills, we got critical boost, level three, you already know. Increases damage dealt by critical hits to 40%. With weakness exploit, attacks that hit weak spots have 50% increased affinity. So we're already looking at some crit attack and with the community of soul activating, hopefully get some more affinity so we get that crit chance. And we got full poison attack. This is damn good with this build because poison build at plus 20% and then get a bonus to plus 5 and then you got razor sharp which is necessary for dual blades because they run through sharpness like crazy but this activates 50% of the time which is pretty damn good. Constitution, uh, just more fluff it's not really needed in this build I should say because with stamina surge you know your stamina recovery speeds plus 40 percent or if you don't have that extra slight make it 20 percent still going to as long as it has more stamina recovery it's all good and then of course stun resistance so we don't get knocked out <laughs> because we all know once you get stunned in this game and you got hit you're going back to camp then we got part breaker i did part breaker because part breaker is just good and then part damage is plus 30 percent you can't go wrong with that free meal Everybody loves free mail, activate 45% of the time. Like I said, that's just more fluff. You don't necessarily need it. And we get to the actual skills of the build, which is Foray. Increases attack power and affinity when attacking a large monster affected by poison, paralysis, or an elemental blight. And while active, increases attack power plus 15 and affinity plus 20%. So again, there's more chances of crit. Then we got the chain crit, which is probably one of my favorite skills to put on dual blades because continuous land hits gradually increases attack and elemental attack the amount of increase depends on the weapon so with level three upon attack hit temp attack plus five element plus five then hit five successive times for a huge stat boost so you can just go in the demon mode do your thing or not even that you can just do the uh the iron, well, not the iron step fall but the uh any attack with dual blades is going to pretty much land more than five hits consecutively, so that's a plus. Then you got status trigger. Perform a perfectly timed evade just as the monster attacks to trigger abnormal status. Build up on hit. I will demonstrate y'all that because this is what's going to pretty much go into the setup of this build. So while active effect duration is 12 seconds, that's what we like to see. Thunder attack, that's because of the Zenova chest piece, which we ain't worried about that. Speeding, again, just more fluff because I had extra space and the charm. Vade window, that's good. Uh, I thought about running Vade 1 Evade Extender on it, but level 2 Vade, evade window is pretty good as it is anyway. Then you got Flinch Free for those who want to play multiplayer, but it comes with the build. I believe those were on the Espinas, um, the heels, so. Level 2 prevents knockbacks, tripping is reduced to a knockback instead. Peak performance, again, just comes with the build. Attack increase, increases attack when your health is full. Attack plus 5 while active. Not looking for it, really. <laughs> Latent power, this is actually pretty good in a way. Just one level is pretty good for us. So, temporarily increases affinity and reduces stamina depletion when certain conditions are met. While active, increases affinity by 10% and reduces stamina depletion by 30%. So there's more affinity for the crit chances. So there's that's pretty much the rundown of it. And then, like I said, this was just a fluff charm. I didn't really 
it's just fluff really just to fill a spot okay so there is the breakdown and let me show y'all it was on smoker okay smoker's not bad okay so now let's actually put it to the test and see what we got going on Oh, I got the wrong. Oh, I got the wrong. I wonder if it works this way. Let's see. Yeah, there's there's some right there. There you go. Right, so keep others right with your back. We gotta activate it once. There we go. Jeez, that is tight. I hey, do want to run. Um, there you go. Just, uh, just like that. Just like that. Well, not just like that, but. <laughs> something I put together I figure I'll show y'all I was working with. Show me what you're working with. <laughs> Alright, so if you definitely enjoy what you see, make sure you have that notification bell turned on. Subscribe to the channel if you want to catch all of our gaming content. As well as follow us on the Twitch channel to catch our live stream to be part of the highlights as well. Get that going again. But I will catch everybody in the next video and have a good one.